Numerically first in the sequence were the AL1s, built by the Birmingham Carriage and Wagon Company. These later became Class 81. Like the other first-generation electrics, the 81s were built with train vacuum brakes only. But it wasn't long before air brakes were needed as well, to haul new builds of freight and passenger stock. Another feature, which soon became obsolete, was the second pantograph, intended for 6.25 kilovolt operation. These were removed while the class was still in its infancy. In the 1980s, the class was allocated to Glasgow Shields Road although they continued to run throughout the West Coast electrified system on passenger and freight duties. Withdrawal started in earnest in 1988 and the whole class was eliminated by 1991. The longest lived of the first generation types were the AL5s or Class 85s built by BR at Doncaster. They were also the most numerous type, originally totalling 40. Externally, there was not a lot to distinguish them from the 81s, or indeed from the other first-generation types, classes 82, 83 and 84. Although many 85s survived into the era of subsector dedication, no attempt was made to paint the fleet in intercity or rail freight livery, or retained rail blue right to the end. The first major Class 85 withdrawals started in the late 1980s, but a batch of 13 was modified in 1989 for freight-only usage and reclassified 85-1. Their apparent reprieve, however, was only short-lived, and after briefly enjoying the limelight of hauling rail tours, the characteristic roar of the 85s was switched off for the last time in 1991. The most numerous electric locomotive type on BR is the Class 86. An order for 100 of them was placed in 1963 to supplement the 100 members of Classes 81 to 85 that were already in service by this time. 